everybody, it's Carrie with Seed to Spoon. So the other day I made a video all about um, planting this biodome behind me um, and I planted a bunch of cauliflower, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts and I had a really great question that was in the comments all about why they should start broccoli because it is something that's relatively cheap at the store. If you go to the grocery store, it's fairly cheap to buy. It's easy to find. So they were wondering what the benefits to having it in your garden was. And I thought this was a great opportunity to make a video because this is probably something that a lot of people think about too. And I, I truly think that broccoli is one of the greatest things that you can grow in your garden for the cool season. It's amazing. And I want to talk about why today. One of the biggest reasons why we like to grow so much of it is because our kids love to grow it. So one of our, our five-year-old the other day, he told me too that one of the biggest things that he wanted to grow this year was he wanted more broccoli. What food do you want to grow? Broccoli. More broccoli? So we are planting lots of broccoli this year for him. So I think it's something that's really big. The kids know what it is and it's really easy, you know, for them to get involved gardening. So I really like having something that's familiar to them out in the garden that they can enjoy and eat as well. So we get asked a lot about the taste difference. So does store-bought broccoli taste different than broccoli that we grow in our garden? And I actually think, yes, that is true. There is a difference, especially if you eat it raw, which we love to do. We, especially the kids and I, I love to have raw veggies and ranch and dip it in. But honestly, you can eat just broccoli straight from outside and it tastes so good. And the kids even enjoy doing that too. And it's so, it's, it's very, very flavorful. I will say whenever you do cook it, it tastes very similar to the store-bought. A lot of the, the flavor, you know, tends to go away whenever you cook things, but it's still, like, I always feel a lot better also whenever we're eating something that we grew ourselves instead of bought that somebody else did, because then we know exactly what we're putting in our garden too. So we don't use any sort of pesticides or anything like that in our garden and um, because we want everything to be healthy and organic as possible. And then, so when you buy it store-bought, you don't always know exactly what goes into it too. So that's one of the big reasons too why we try to grow a lot of our own vegetables like that. Another huge benefit that you can have if you grow your own broccoli versus buying it at the store is to have a continual harvest of it. So especially the varieties that we like to grow, we like to grow more of the sprouting broccoli or the hybrid broccolis, which is uh, more of a combination of the ones that grow a full head and then have sprouts also. So we like doing these because you can get a faster harvest. So you're harvesting faster, you get food faster in the spring. And then also you just always have food to harvest in the garden too. So whenever you go out there, you can continually have new shoots of broccoli to eat. And it's great. I love going grocery shopping out in our yard and going and pulling food that we want to eat for the day. So we prefer to do those types of varieties that are either the ones that are the hybrid, that grow a full head, and then continue to do the shoots off the side that you can harvest from, or the ones that only do the, the sprouts. So they have like more of the little pieces of broccoli rather than the great big giant head, especially for our, our weather here that we have. It's so unpredictable. Sometimes we have random hail storms and things like that. So it's, oh, it's devastating. We had one year where we had only like head lead or head broccoli and it was right before we were going to harvest and we had a huge hailstorm come in and damage all of all of our plants but a good thing did come out of that storm though we actually learned that you can eat the leaves of broccoli too so what we actually did with those plants since they were all pretty much they were they were very damaged so what we did with those plants was we harvested the leaves from them and we ate those and those taste really good too we had no idea before because broccoli was something we bought at the store just as the giant head and so whenever we tried the leaves we were really shocked it actually tasted really good and especially if you stir fry them oh it was it was amazing i can't go on about it enough so what we do that intentionally now too whenever we harvest broccoli shoots we'll, and, and the heads of broccoli will harvest some leaves also at the same time to eat. 
And if broccoli isn't something you currently eat a lot of or have in your diet, I highly recommend adding it in because broccoli is one of the healthiest things that you can eat. It is super nutritious for you. It adds a lot of vitamins and minerals into your diet. And if you're interested in seeing more about how broccoli can help you too, you can go through on our free app. Whenever you go onto broccoli, it'll have very top It'll show all of the different health benefits that it's good for. And you can click on each one to learn more about what it impacts and how it helps. So I hope I have made some broccoli lovers out there and hopefully I have made it so somebody will start growing more broccoli themselves in their garden. I highly recommend it. It is amazing and it is so much fun to grow too. I love it. It's personally one of our favorites to do. So I'm really happy that the kids love it too. So that way I can have an excuse to grow a lot of different varieties and eat it a lot. Well, if you have any other questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comment section and maybe I will make a video about your comment next. Thank you so much for watching everybody. We'll see you next time.